Hi everyone, it's Rendon with TJ Free. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using free software that, so you can get new drum sounds out of a digital drum set like this one. This is just a cheap digital drum set I got on Amazon for a couple hundred dollars, and it has some built in drum sounds. But we can expand these drum sounds by hooking it to the computer using a USB cable. So it's just a regular cable that you would use to hook to like the back of your printer. It's a USB type C cable. And the back of this drum controller uh, module has a place that we can plug it right in. So I'm just going to do this live right on the video and show you. It's really easy. You just plug it into the back of the controller and then you plug the USB into a computer. In this case I'm using a laptop that's running Linux Mint and I'm going to be using the Hydrogen Drum Machine. Now that the USB cable is connected, we're going to hop over to the screencast and I'll show you how to set up and get your computer to recognize the drum set. But real quick, I just want to show you, um, when it is hooked up to the computer, you'll still hear the drum sounds. And if we change to a different drum kit, it doesn't change the sound. All it's sending over is the MIDI notes. So every time I hit this drum, it'll send over and tell this computer that drum is being hit. But the computer can change what sound is, is going to happen. So we, you can either create your own drum sounds or you can download, and I'll show you how to do that too in another video, download your own custom drum sounds. And then we can also record onto the laptop. So if we go into options and into input mode, we'll want to make sure that it's as a drum kit that, we're, that the input is happening, not as an instrument. So make sure that this is checked. Then under preferences, we just want to go to uh, MIDI system and under input, change it from none to whatever your drum kit is. So this is the name of my drum kit, this Alessis DM7X. So we'll select this. And then when we hit OK, it'll say uh, the, reset, the driver restart required. And so if we say OK, it'll restart the driver. So we can tell if the MIDI input is working by looking right up here in the top where it says MIDI in. And if I hit a drum, we see that it lights up every time the drum is hit. Whatever drum is hit, it will light up. And also, we can see it down here. So if we hit uh, this record button, and then we hit uh, play, we can see this little playhead playing right down here at the bottom. And as I play drums, we'll see this be able to fill in. And it'll be registered on here. I can do a crash cymbal. I can do the bass drum, and then we get that pattern going on. Oh, that's right, some of my drums aren't recognized. So this tom isn't recognized by the software, we'll have to get in and remap that. If we want to change the way that this drum kit sounds, we can grab a different one. So we can go to uh, drum kits and we can go to clear all and I'll just clear out this, this whole drum kit and then we can go over to the side. So right now I only have two but I'll show you in, in another video how you can get more drum kits, basically different sounds and we just right click and go to load and that'll load this new drum kit and then we can either hover over and click to see what this sounds like and if I play on here we'll hear it, we'll hear it too. So even without it recording, every time we play, it's going to register on the, la the laptop. We have the, the hi-hat is working too, so we can press down the hi-hat, we can do crash, we can do the ride cymbal, we can do... It picks up pretty good too, so anything that's being sent uh, from the drums, it picks up pretty good. And then if we want to record that pattern, we have to change the resolution. So if you're interested in learning more about hydrogen, I'll make more videos about that. This one's more or less just showing how to get the, the actual drum kit to talk to the software over the USB cable. And again, you can do this with lots of different software. This just happens to be a good free and open source uh, drum centric software. So I hope this video has been informative for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I, have, I have another video I'm also making teaching how to do the same thing with a USB keyboard. So if you have a piano that has a little um, USB port on the back, you can do the same thing and then you can play and get different sounds, different instruments uh, through your laptop by playing that keyboard. So a really cool video. I'll include it in a link in the description of the video as well. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.